Hello, Joel Reed is my name from the CFA Fleet and Protective Equipment Department. Today I'm going to share three driving tips on our new 44C heavy tankers. The focus is going to be about the automated manual transmission. So driving tip one, park brake start. I'm now on a bit of an incline and as this vehicle is configured with an automated manual transmission, or in other words, a smart manual transmission, when I bring the vehicle to rest, the clutch will be disengaged. If I was to take off normally, the vehicle could roll back. Hence, I need to use my park brake. To start off, I build up the revs to at least 700 RPM and I can feel the clutch start to re-engage and the vehicle take off at the same time I disengage my park brake. Driving tip two, the exhaust brake. When driving off-road, the exhaust brake is either on or off. However, you can activate it in two ways. In setting one, the exhaust brake will come on when you apply the service brakes, or setting two is when you take your foot off the throttle. So driving off-road, like the situation we're in now, I'm gonna have it in setting two. Also when driving off-road, I select semi-mode on the transmission. Semi mode means that the driver intervenes on all gear shifts. I'll also engage low range through the transfer box and I'll also put the center diff lock in. All of these modes are done when stationary. Driving tip three, when going down a tricky descent, I've now brought the vehicle to rest to get over a small obstacle. At the same time, the clutch is now disengaged. To re to continue my movement, I need to ensure that I've got full control of the vehicle. So I have my exhaust brake on the second setting, as always when I'm driving off-road. So now, like we learned on the park brake start, I build up my RPM to about 700, I feel the clutch start to bite and re-engage, and I take off again. Okay, so just to recap, Driving tip one, when taking off from an incline, remember to use your park brake. Driving tip two, when driving off road, make sure the exhaust brake is in the second setting. And driving tip three, when tackling an obstacle going downhill in an off-road environment, also use a park brake start to ensure the vehicle's in full control. I would just like to thank Peter, James and Phil from the Axtar Brigade for their time and effort to help put this video together. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.